Behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Wash your hands, a message we've all heard for months, which really should be standard operating procedure. It is the best defense against COVID-19. The Morning Insiders wondered what's actually happening, though, when you're scrubbing. Here's Lauren Victory with the, sci the science behind the soap. Lather round, everyone. Get it? Here's a quick science experiment involving soap. I'm Lincoln. I'm Leo. We recruited the adorable sons of CBS2 photographer Tim Visti to show us the water and pepper trick. Go for it. That's our fake coronavirus floating on top. What's it look like? More like dirty. Now let's try with soapy fingers. One, two, three. Notice the particles moving. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Here are other examples on social media. Pepper disperses because the flakes aren't made of fat. That's one of two things soap is looking for. The other is water. Confused? We called in Ball State University's Jagdish Kubjandani, and like a true teacher, he brought props. The public health professor explains what's inside these bottles. If you break down soap into small particles, it looks like this. The top part is binding with the water and the bottom part binds with the virus. And when you have hundreds of soap particles that bind to water and bind to the virus, the entire virus is covered. Hand washing doesn't actually kill coronavirus. Soap deconstructs it. Breaking it down through its walls, the final structure looks like this, and it tears apart the virus, protein, and fat. What does this teach us then about washing our hands? That the, the, if you wash your hands, the coronavirus would flip off my hand and go down the drain. Exactly. Our adult expert says liquid soap is a little better than bar soap because you're more likely to scrub between your fingers. Feeling drenched in the obvious? Here's one final thought from Leo. Don't, don't touch anything. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Lincoln, Leo, good job. So what about antibacterial soap versus regular? The professor says both work fine and both are better than hand sanitizer. I've been explaining it to <laughs> my uh, four-year-old daughter, Ryan, that the bubbles hug those germs and then carry <laughs> them down the drain. So whatever you got to say, as long as they're washing. That's some nice tips. So me just yelling and screaming that maybe try a little <laughs> oh my softer gosh. approach. We got paid by however many times we tell them to wash our hands, right? <laughs>